So this is going to be me evaluating Monday Night Raw. And it's not going to be a review. It's not going to be me going left to right in every single segment. Because I want you guys to see the Raw for yourselves. And I want you to watch 20 minutes of me spoiling everything. And then you watching it again to validate my opinion or just see even the small fragments. I just want to evaluate how this Raw stands out with the other ones in a very objective manner. Also, I'll be doing a blog TV today since it's a Tuesday night and that's where I'm going to do these blog TVs. Was there a classic moment? Definitely. CM Punk's promo on Johnny Ace brought back some of the heat that he lost back in when Triple H made his return. Well, not really when they started feuding Triple H and Punk. I can definitely see some of the intensity returning in this promo. And you saw an actual pipe bomb and not just a couple of badass one-liners and then no substance from it. A classic match, although I did like Brodus Clay versus JTG, that's not a match that we'll speak about from months to come, or maybe even weeks to come, but it just doesn't stand the test of time. Although you can look at that as a very memorable moment, I can definitely see some angles going with this Funkasaurus gimmick. But to say it's a classic match, not really. An interesting theme. Now this episode of Monday Night Raw actually brought up the Royal Rumble for 2012. Which is something that WWE has been forgetting and neglecting to do in a while. So there is an interesting theme. In my opinion, it's been carried out in a very well done fashion. It's not really about getting the last few contenders in there to hype it up but really it's just about the unpredictability of who's gonna be there who isn't gonna be there what's gonna happen and all this other shit an interesting point a point where I'm thinking wow this is cool I'm gonna have to say Ace hitting Foley or Cena almost ending Jack Swagger's career those are both highly interesting points where I'm thinking, okay, so this might not interest me for the long run, but it will definitely interest me in the short run. And I'm like, I'm glad that Ace is showing shades of McMahon and Punk sh always showing shades of Austin. Although it's not the same kind of relationship as McMahon and Austin. And you can tell that it has the same cliches, but it uses them in a different way. Punk's a different character. He's an indie IWC sort of out of the ordinary guy, whereas Austin's more of the badass. And McMahon's a sort of fighter guy, whereas... This guy's sort of the, I want to call him the fighter, the aggressive type, but more of the guy who can be that, but he's more of the yes-man corporate whore. And the clincher was Ace's rebuttal on Punk, which he did as soon as Foley started talking shit. Again, Ace is showing shades of big man, and you're seeing a lot of interesting dialogue. All in all... I would give this Raw a 4 out of 5, which is great considering the others were 1 out of 5s or 2 out of 5s for the past few Raws. So this is definitely a step in the right direction. Now be sure to see me in Blog TV, I'll put the link in the description. This isn't something you want to miss. I'll be speaking about various different subjects, wrestling, politics. It's not going to be a long broadcast, and I'll definitely draw a line somewhere. 
But just be there. I'm sure you'll be entertained if you have any sort of taste.